The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As you can see here, we're starting out with the German DAX. Beautiful head and shoulders pattern. Boy, folks, if you can't see that one, it's like the, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. That's such a beautiful pattern there. It just lines up perfectly right out of Dr. Andrew Lowe's book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. Beautiful pattern. And now you can see it has a bias uh, to the downside as we're looking at it this morning. The next one we need to watch, which I think is a very, very important one, and that is the uh, German Bund. I want to get this up here so you folks can see it. Now, this is equivalent to the 30-year bond over in uh, the in Germany. But you notice here we have these lower highs through here. Our bond has gone up and made a 61%, just a tad above uh, the 50% retracement. Uh, yeah, just a tad above the 50% retracement up there at 163 and change. The notes went to exactly the 61% retracement, but this is telling you that these bonds are starting to roll over, if in, if it in fact that is the case. To me, people that buy bonds when the stock market's off 200 points overnight, it's like trying to fight a fire with a arsonist as your lead uh, fire repellent. So take a look. Anyway, Ruby's talking about the gold. Once in a while, it works. Watch it, cl folks, closely now on the gold. And the reason why is, let's take a quick look here. We'll review. Thanks, Ruby, for bringing it up. We can chat about the gold here for a minute. Here's the chart where we were the other day. We were making the bottom there at 1465. And now where we are, folks, we are at 1499. Now let's do a little bit of a little bit of super calculus and astrophysics in here, okay? We know that the harmonic number on gold is 34, correct? Let's add 34 to that bottom. And that comes in to 34. Now, all you guys get your calculators out. You add 1465, and you add 34 to that, and that takes you to 1499. Shut the front door and raise a rent. That's where we are right now. So pay attention to it, folks. Anything above 1505, and we've changed the uh, changed the, the act on this gold for good, folks. We got a really special treat for you today. We've got none other than Samuel Archibald Arrington Hicks Crawford of Crawford Perspectives will be our guest at 9:30, and he's got some stuff on gold that's going to just knock your socks off. And if you're not wearing socks, it'll still be fun. Anyway, keep an eye on that, folks. It's going to be very, very interesting to uh, to watch it unfold like that. Okay, let's move on and talk just a little bit about uh, we did the uh, German Bund and we did the uh, – where is the FTSE here? We get the FTSE up here. I do the FTSE mainly because um, – I have some uh, clients over there in the UK that like to look at it. They send me their charts. I don't even chart it. They, they, this, these are this is their work, and as you can see here, we have a uh, also have a head and shoulders pad here, but it doesn't have the really great symmetry that you like to have. You notice the left shoulder uh, takes a long time to get up to the head. The right shoulder is a lot faster, but it comes in right at the 618. That does qualify for a head and shoulders pattern based on what Dr. Andrew Lowe used for formulas. In other words, your right shoulder shoulder should be lower than your left shoulder. The ideal situation is the head and shoulder, shoulder and head have perfect symmetry in time, but you don't always get perfect. So you have to work within those realms of uh, watching some of those things uh, operate. So now we're going to take a quick look from our old good friend Jim Twentyman here, and we're going to try to give you a little tiny bit of information that might help you during these uh, times of uh, jumping around markets. Let's get this up here right here. Now, we all know that we've had some big moves here last night. I just want to show you. Uh, in fact, you should learn, like Twentyman says, defy human nature, do the work yourself. But I'm going to bring up this uh, 
pattern here. This is the Dow Jones E-mini, and it's from uh, late afternoon yesterday. We went from 2630 down to to 26,300, we dropped 300 Dow points. But look, look what happened, folks. During that time, you had three instances where the Dow rallied exactly 100 points. You can see it by those dark, blind, dark black lines. That 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 is the harmonic number uh, in the. Um, in the Dow Jones, so watch that. You know, uh, you'll you'll get some time, and and this is just for for fun. Just try to remember this, even if I can't. <laughs> uh, sometime in October, we've got another twenty some days to go here. Um, we're going to have a down day of a uh, fifteen hundred points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average sometime in the month of October. That's my prediction. The reason why I say that is the previous big correction was 900 points. I think we hit 1,100 on that fast day, but I don't I don't really count that one. So you figure a 1.618 of that 900-point move, and that'll take you down to 1,500. This is what I did when I was being interviewed by Bill Griffith way back in 1987 after the top had been made in August of that year. And I said sometime uh, in October we would see a move down of more than uh, 300 Dow points. And of course, that happened on the crash day. It was down uh, 550 points. All I did was to uh, someone saying the sound's going up and down. I have no control over that, Ruby. I hope everybody's getting it. But uh, in other words, I took um, the biggest down move we had had up until that time frame was 198 Dow points. Remember, the Dow was trading at 2,700, so that was still a substantial number. I multiplied 198 times 1.618. It came out to 310, and that's what I told Bill it would do. Of course, it went down 500, which was okay. <laughs> it's like the market. Very good, Dollar Bill. Very good. Anyway, I think you're going to enjoy what, uh, what Arch has, because I saw it, and I said, wow. I said, I think this is pretty cool. I want to get, get some hats off here if to our good friend David White here at TFNN. He does a service for you, the chart service for Tom O'Brien. Look at this beautiful bullish Gartley hat, hat here for the silver miners, folks, the ETFSIL. Beautiful right there at the 786, perfect ABCD. Uh, you can get these from TFNN each day. Uh, it does it automatically for you, and uh, it does a super job. So it tells you exactly what you're looking for. You have to determine what the risk is going to be on the trade, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what you're watching here, at least when you're following something that would uh, give you a better chance of, uh, you know, getting in or not. Anyway, let's pay attention to that, whether it happens or not. But it's a really good service. It does it for stocks. And uh, he happened to send me that one because it's lined up so nicely, you know, with the gold and everything. And uh, anything above 1505 is going to send it up here. You know, uh, the uh, David's telling us it controls the vertical and horizontal, but not the audio level. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, is something wrong with the auto folks? Uh, double check that. I, I can't tell because I've got earphones on and I'm half deaf as it is. So I've, I've been out. I haven't had any hearing in my left ear since I was four years old. So um, there, he, uh, I guess this is all right. Let's move on to the next one here. Uh, well, we got a break coming up here already. So if you have any folks, uh, any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and gold has popped up to almost hit our magical number at 1505. We've been to 150410. So let's be patient and see what's going on here. We'll move on to a couple other things that we want to cover here that I think, uh, Larry, silver is stronger than gold. Any thoughts, more buyers than sellers? I have no idea, Ruby. Uh, all I know is that, that silver did not make the objective on the downside. It was supposed to hit 1660. It only got down to uh, 1692. So so that was one indication that it was possibly stronger. But, you know, the fact that the uh, the bonds, the bonds, we'll do what we can with the bonds, the bonds. I will do the notes, the notes, because that's the one I have on the board. If that's okay with you, Mr. Marshall Robinson. Let's get this up here and uh, take a look here at the notes. Um, here's where we are. Get it up here so we can see it. This was as of yesterday. But as you know, we got back up to those old highs again at uh, that, uh, uh, went back to that 60. 61% retracement, and we're still up there. So, uh, you know, this to me is just a rally in a bear market. But uh, like I mentioned, it's like sending the arsonist to, to the fire department to help them put out fires. But that's my two cents worth, whether that means anything or not. Folks, there's one thing that uh, I'd like to cover. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. But uh, one of my friends uh, sent me a uh, uh, a uh, chart from well, some it's some stuff from Chris Carolyn, and I don't know if we can even get it in here or not to to see what it is. Uh, oh, shut the front door! You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Anyway, he's talking about the uh, possibility of a crash. Now, Chris Carolyn's a really smart dude. Let me get this up here, and uh, we'll be able to look at some of it. Uh, huh. Yeah, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do this. I don't know enough about it to re really talk about it, so I, I don't think it's a good idea, you know, to work on that. All right, let's get back uh, to the corn. I want to talk about corn here for a second. And... Uh, 
and we will get up here. Uh, we we, uh, we we felt that the corn was probably uh, reaching a top yesterday. As you can see here, we had a few more pennies to go to get up to that uh, 96. We got to 93, I believe, and uh, we thought that was probably good enough. You know, if you're in the corn, it would probably be the time to, uh, to exit it. So that's what we were watching when we were taking a look at the corn as we followed through this uh, each time here. Now, um, we have a... Uh, Hold on one second, folks. Um, someone's asked a question about the importance of the 1505 in the uh, in the gold. Yeah, yeah, it's relatively important. I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, that means you're, you've gone thirty nine dollars higher than the bottom. I mean, that's that's pretty good. The harmonic number is thirty four. You get above oh five. You know, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? I mean, it's been bullish. What are you gonna do? I mean, nothing else. I wanted to share one other thing that I think is relatively important here. Let's get this up here. Hold on one second here, as we walk through this. I think you're gonna really like Rich. Uh, Rich. Uh, Arch Crawford stuff at, five, at at the half hour. It's on gold too, and I'll I know you like it. Let's take a look here at the Bitcoin because this thing looks like it's getting ready to head to the showers. Uh, this is updated as of this morning. You see, we held that 7,700 level, rallied up to 85. We're trading around 82 right now. We have to stay above $7,500 a share, folks, or the Bitcoin is going to have some problems. And remember, that's a cryptocurrency. Uh, the blockchain technology. I don't think there's anything that uh, is going to change that, especially when this 4G stuff is coming, 5G stuff is coming out. It's going to be uh, very, very interesting, you know, to uh, take a look at that. So we'll we'll do that as we as we walk through. I want to share something else. The, one of my good friends, Tom Hugard, that we did the seminar for in um, uh, London back on the 14th and 15th. Uh, he uh, posts his trades each day. I want to. He he's a he's a big hitter, folks. Let's put it that way. Let's get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. This is uh, yesterday's trading, and you'll see here that uh, he had a relatively good day. 48,000 pounds in the German DAX. That's pounds, folks. The others are all dollars, and uh, so it was a, a relatively good day. Uh, okay, uh, the uh, oh dear, I've lost lost my train of thought. Which, when you're on a train like mine, you've got to be able to get the old coal in the engine to get the train running. Let's go back here to uh, help uh, buy, uh, Marshall with the bonds. I wanted to bring this up here because this is the longer term weekly chart in the bonds. Remember, we got up to that 167, we're 163 and change right now. So, whether this is going to be much of a uh, you know, we, we can get all the way up to 165 and still just be doing a retracement, but that's what it looks like. It's all related to the uh, uh, aspect of negative interest rates, which to me doesn't mean very much. I hope that helps, Marshall, but, you know, I look at the basically four-hour charts, and those are the ones that give me the ones that give me the best uh, indications of the things. Let's take a quick look here uh, at the stop and P yesterday. I wanted to get this up here because several people asked me. We posted this before the market opened. You'll notice the high up there was uh, 29.94 yesterday, and we took out the lows down there at 29.46. Remember the importance of 29.46, folks? When I posted the stuff, when I came back on Monday, uh, to Wednesday, the uh, 18th of uh, uh, 19th of uh, September, it was you were sitting right at that number, and I and I showed you what my friend in the UK talked about as a potential top coming in, which in fact has been verified. And if we went below 29.46, that was a very bad time. And you can see once we went through that yesterday, that told us that this market had a great deal of um, impetus to the downside. And uh, that's that's what we're looking at right now. Is I think we're seeing seeing that unfold as we as we look at these charts. I hope that helps. But uh, we'll see. I will get this. I think I get my S my E mini S and P up here. Yep, I've got it here because I did bring this to everybody's attention in the newsletter. I think it's that important. Now uh, you'll notice last Friday's low was twenty nine sixty eight. Or excuse me, that was a close. 
The 382 is at 2952. Uh, when we went below 2946, folks, the next level that we're looking at, we got down to just about uh, 2910 last night, but uh, that number should come in around 2990. Below 2990, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, uh, we're looking at some real serious numbers here, and uh, whether that happens this way or not, you know, I'm not sure. But that big pattern that we had on that three drive pattern uh, with that expanding triangle, that, that just that's just really nasty, folks. And uh, well, that's my two cents worth. So we'll see what happens. Well, we only got one more minute, and then we're going to have our good friend Arch Crawford on the line. Let's switch over to the euro because the euro is trying fight is fighting for its life, and whether it does it or not. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Mr. Z. I will, uh, uh, I will, I will send it on to you. Okay, I will. I, I, I'll tell you what, Mr. Z. Make a deal with you. I will send on the Chris Carolyn stuff. If tomorrow, uh, which is is Thursday, tomorrow you'll get on the air with me and discuss it. Okay, buddy. All right, that'll be in the mail to you right now, right after this break. I'm going to send it to you, and tomorrow Mr. Z is going to come on, and we're going to. Chris Carolyn, folks, has been around for a long time. Really smart guy. Up in, I think he's up in the state of Washington. I talked to him many times. He does a lot of astro work. Tremendous technician. Super nice guy. Devil may care type good guy. So we'll have. You know what? I'll, if someone gives me Chris's number, I will have him on the show. You know, a good idea. Uh, see if you get a number, Z. All right, folks, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Stay, stay tuned for Arch Crawford. Larry Pesamento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're on the line with Arch Crawford of Crawford Perspectives, Tucson, Arizona. Sam, how are you doing today, buddy? Terrific. How are you? I'm good. Sam, you lit up the Christmas tree for me yesterday when I looked at your newsletter and I saw those Golden Week uh, charts that you put up. I posted them in the room here uh, the last seven years and showed, my goodness, this is a tremendous uh, seasonal, it looks like. Uh, uh, I mean, That's six of the seven is. were... Yeah, six of the seven spot on. What, what, where did you get this? Uh, tell us about this, Sam, if you could. I don't really know anything about it. I, I, someone emailed it to me yesterday, so I thought it was really important, and I sent it out yeah. to a whole bunch of people. Wow, no wonder. Who, who sent it to you? T. Thomas Melzer. Okay. Oh, well, I oh, I thought I thought it was somebody that I knew. I don't know who that is, but uh, I anyway, I think, I think I, I, yeah. Well, we should have him on the line if nothing else. The fact well, that it uh, lined it up, it, the, yeah, that it lined up with Golden Week, and then of course we had the Golden Week, uh, you know, on Monday. So that's really uh, it's really interesting. Sam, what do you think of what's going on here in the market? It, you know, we've had a couple of really bad days. Uh, well, we had one bad day on Monday and a little tiny bit of a bad day on Tuesday, or bad day on Tuesday, tiny bit bad day on Wednesday. What's your feeling here? Have we made a significant top here in the stock market? Um, I believe that so. I was, I've was i been thinking all along here that we were so near the top that it would not be surprising if, uh, if they spiked it up <laughs> one day to, to a new high, uh, just to make to bring in some suckers, I guess, but mm -hmm. um, it, they have not been able to do it, uh, which I think is a negative, but mm -hmm. to give you the long term, you know, we've had on the front page of the letter for several months uh, off and on uh, the SPX weekly, and uh, it shows a megaphone or broadening pattern for a, a year and a half now, or actually if you go back mm -hmm. to where the Lions meet, it's uh, two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a typical by-the-book top uh, in the technical analysis field. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been up and hit that upper line uh, three times, and it did it again this, the last time, I think, was, what, July. And uh, it tried mm -hmm. to get up there again here very recently, and it mm -hmm. looks like it's failed. Now, um, yesterday, the uh, SPX closed slightly below its 50-day moving average, and the um, so did the NDX 100, which is the hot shot NASDAQ stocks. The NDX mm -hmm. 100 is uh, the hottest uh, of the movers. And all of them this morning are opening well below their 50-day moving averages. So I consider that a strong negative, too. Now, we had uh, MACD sell signals, which are momentum signals. Uh, all of them went negative about a week and a half ago, mm -hmm. um, eight or nine trading days ago. And uh, that, that's an early signal. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not always accurate because it's easy to reverse. But today is like giving con confirmation to them with a break of the 50-day moving averages. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Sam, uh, we've had a question from one of our listeners about uh, your feeling on gold. You've been bullish on gold uh, for quite some time. I mean, that the fact that we held that low down there is pretty important. What, what's your feeling here on the gold market? Long term, I'm, long term is what well, he's I'm asking. I'm doing a letter for this coming Monday, uh, and I was thinking about, you know, getting out on the short term for the rest of this period. But the period ends about the day after I do the letter, so I would be a buyer on uh, in the new letter. Uh, mm -hmm. I am, by the way, ranked number two in the predicting the gold markets by Timer Digest. Wow, that's great. 12 months. 
Wow, that's very good. Of course, you've been you've been on there quite a bit with some of these things, you know. So it's uh, you know very very interesting that you're always up there in the uh, rankings and stuff. So that's super. And in, isn't gold one of your specialties too, Sam? I mean, you've always. Uh, You've always been spot on as near as I can. I remember in 02 when the gold was down around the uh, $230, you were extremely bullish down there because I, you had just moved, I believe, to um, Tucson at that time, uh, as I recall. When did you move here, Sam? Was it around 2002? No, actually, 96. 96. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Yeah, that's right. Because we were we were on the line together in 01 when uh, the the twin towers were hit. You know what I mean? <laughs> so and that's I, pretty I interesting. I predicted that too, but not in that yeah. way. I said the yeah. U.S. will be at war around the weekend of seven or eight September 2001. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, so and, I remember we were on the. That you, you night of, yeah. of 9/11. Yeah. George you know what I result. you know I remember the most we, about we that day. We are at war. <laughs> yeah. The, the thing I remember the most about that day, Sam, was the fact that you called me and told me the Pentagon had been hit five minutes before CNBC or CNN or anybody else had it. And who did you get that from that they told you that that uh, the Pentagon had been hit? One of your uh, folks that lived by there or what? Could be. I don't remember actually. Uh huh. Wow. Son of God, well, that's I don't really remember sad. a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, well, tell me about that. I know exactly what that's like. That's for sure. Anyway, um, I wanted to uh, uh, ask you one other question uh, about the potential for a market crash in here. Do you see anything in the in the cards that would tell us that we that we could possibly have a uh, market crash? Um, there has never been a crash in this part of the Mars Uranus crash site, uh, the Mars Uranus cyanotic period. Mm -hmm. uh, but it comes back online about the middle of November and lasts for like nine months. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for the crash in that nine month period. Not right here, but it would not be surprising right here to go back to the bottom of that broadening pattern, which is quite a ways right now. Uh -huh. So, uh, and t tomorrow is an extraordinary day in the sky. Mm -hmm. uh, look on the back of the newsletter. It says, active day. Pluto goes direct station early tomorrow. Mercury enters Scorpio. Mars enters Libra. And Mercury mm -hmm. is contraparallel Uranus. Now, that's wow. three major and one significant uh powerful things happening in the sky and i would expect oh. major news events of every sort from the market through the politics through the maybe wow. uh, even volcanoes or earthquakes or you know all kinds of phenomena yeah. it's, a, it's maybe, a big yeah. day plus or minus two or three days so we've actually been in it for a wow. couple of days sounds like a tweet type of day coming Sam, <laughs> hey, listen, well, buddy. Well, thanks I, for being. I would watch. You know, the headlines will be on the fourth, but the mm -hmm. the happenings will be tomorrow. Okay. Mostly, well, that's it. you know, the, Thank the heavier you. ones. Thank you, buddy. We'll have you on again soon. Okay. You bet. Sam I'm Crawford, folks. I'm writing this folks. weekend, so anytime after that, I'll know more about the short term okay. stuff. All right, we'll be right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back. I wanted to bring this uh, next chart to your attention. We talked about it last week. You notice we had that 135 pattern that lined up uh, really nicely there. We had the market break down to that 2949 uh, level. We then had the really strong rally here the last couple of days, stopping exactly at the 61% retracement at 2994 and change. And now we're coming down to this level. We're trading at 2907. Now, those of you that are really big into mathematics and here we are early in the day like this if you take your a b c d swing and just sort of measure it you're going to see that uh, we're down here pretty close to where it's supposed to stop folks and whether it's going to happen that way i don't know but we should be near some type of major support here at 2900 to 2910 here uh, in the s p a uh, failure to hold that level uh, sets up uh, the level that we're looking at which is 2890 uh, which we could very easily do that but uh, pay pay attention to it folks because it's a, it's a real interesting pattern that is lining up there, and uh, we should have some support. But if not, you know, you can see we're past the 1.618 levels at 29.15. Not a good sign. So that's another thing that we need to uh, watch very, very closely. If you remember here, we'll do this on the daily part here. I wanted to show you because this, I think, is, is important. It's going to be a little uh, abbreviated here because the, I wanted to show you the reasoning behind that uh, that importance of that 2946 level. If you get this up here, you'll be able to see here that that was the 382 retracement of the move that we made way back on the 26th. That was uh, that was one of the worst days we had up until yesterday, and now it's starting to move down. The 60. Hold on, someone's asking. The 61% retracement on this move, folks, comes in at uh, 2900. We're trading at 2907 now, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, what's going on. And Mr. Z just told us that he's going to get back to us tomorrow. Uh, if you get Chris's number, um, 
I did. I probably should Google it myself. But if you have Chris Carolyn's number, let me know. He's a. I think he still lives up in Seattle. I believe we're the same age, but you know who knows. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, keep an eye on that. That's uh, relatively important, is my assumption of what we're looking at here. Okay, let's move on to one other thing. I've got to do something here. I'm trying to do too many things at once, folks. In fact, what I did was I thought that. Uh, I, wow, this is really strange. Uh, this is a, okay, okay, boys and girls. Oh, dear, we're going to be interesting to see what happens here. All right, uh, hold on, folks. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I've got to be able to do this. I want to go to the euro for just a second here, and then we'll get back to the uh, the stop and pee here. Here's the rally that we've had in the euro off of that bottom at 108.60. Hold on, and we'll be able to see. No, that's uh, Mr. Bill. That is not. Um, that is not Ed. Uh, uh, Ed Carlson. That uh, Chris Carolyn is somebody uh, totally different. Chris is a uh, an engineer, as I recall. But uh, he used to come down to Pismo Beach and uh, meet some of the traders and stuff. So I do know the dude. Um, anyway, we'll move on here to, to see what we're watching. You'll notice here in the euro, we've now taken out those highs of Monday. That sets up the ABD, ABC, <laughs> the ABCD structure on this euro. I'm losing my voice, boys and girls, so just bear with me here. I want to draw this ABCD in it so you'll be able to see. We made a perfect 61% retracement here last night. And uh, those of you that like trading foreign exchange, you got to pay attention to the euro because it's a really nice one to look at. But let's get the chart up so we'll be able to see this. Uh, no, uh, the square root of Fibonacci numbers of moons. Oh, yeah, maybe of moons he did. Yeah, but uh, square roots of Fibonacci numbers was done by a dude named Pythagoras and also by Bryce Gilmore. Uh, but uh, he was... Uh, he, yeah, yeah, he's actually a friend of, um, what's her name? Uh, ah, the three the three peaks, the three drive lady. The, she's called Three Little Indians. What's her name? Uh, shucks, I know her really well, and I, I can't remember. It's their friends. Um, she wrote the book with Larry, uh, Larry Summers. Uh, come on, Larry, get the gray matter working. All right. Uh, what's the okay, guys? Who's the lady that writes the Three Little Indians? Come on, come on, help the old cowboy out here. Uh, she rises horses down in Florida now. Anyway, here is the uh, there's the ABCD structure. We're trading at night 109.48, uh, 109.70 should be the move here, uh, and it's already moved 50 pips off the 61% retracement. I'm looking, boy, I can't think of her name. My goodness, that's a really bad sign. Had dinner with him. No, no, not, not Agatha Christie. You're mean. You're just flat out mean, Maria. Give me a break. All right, let's move in here. No, what is the name of the girl? Come on. She's wrote, ah, uh, uh, wow, blonde hair. Gosh, I can see her sitting here at the desk. Well, I'm not going to get any help from you guys. She wrote the book with Larry Summers, and um, she does, uh, oh, boy. Boy, this is tough. I know I'll remember it right after the show is over. Anybody have any questions? I know you like to help me out here a lot. But, uh, you know, hey, stop the funny stuff, okay, guys? I'm having a hard enough time remembering the darn the darn name. I'll, go, I'll walk out back in the library and pull out the book. Um, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648, okay? Anyway, I've got some things that I'm going to need to do here pretty soon, so let's pay a little bit of attention with this, and then we'll find out, uh, you know, where we stand, and then we'll move on to the other one. So bear with me here one second. I need to do a tiny bit of chart work, and once I get that done, I will be okay. Give me a second here. i got to go to bada-bing, bada-boom. Uh, I think I go right here is what I want to go to bing. Bing, bada boom, and I do the uh, uh, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and we're done with that. And then we see what do we got. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, move on to the next one. Anybody have any questions? It's 877 927 6648. So let's pay attention to that if we do. Folks, we're at major support down here in the SP at this 2906 to 2900. I posted it. Whether it helps or not, I don't know. It, it won't hold for very long, is my assumption, because we have turned the corner, uh, done everything we needed to do to get this thing started down. But we've done this before, and it slammed the door in our face many times. So just remember that you must use stops. 
and you have to prepare yourself against things that might come up and slap you in the face. Because it's all about how much money you don't have to risk. That's what you're really uh, trying to do here. So pay attention to that as we as we walk through uh, the trials of life of all these things here. Give me a second here. I've got to uh, get these charts lined up so that I'm able to uh, put them out when we're ready. When we get back from the uh, from the break here, I will be happy to uh, answer any questions. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. That is the sound of the of a person doing a radio show that is struggling for data uh, to go through. But uh, we'll just uh, pay attention to that. I will. You know, one thing. When you get back, I'm going to talk about the the uh, what's that baloney stuff. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. Um, whew, I still can't remember her name. Oh dear. I'm going to go back to the library and figure it out. All right, let's move on to the uh, next one here, and we'll see uh, what we're going to be looking at. Okay, um, got a break coming up, I believe, 877-927-6648. I apologize for the quality of the show today, folks, but I just got too many things happening, and I got to be able to uh, make sure that I'm not getting too off the beaten path. So 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, as luck would have it, we got a lot of folks listening. And from Italy, we got the first response. It's Linda Ratz Bradford Radsky from Street Smarts. And uh, that's who it was. Enzo, God bless you. Thanks for mending. Alan, thank you. All the folks that told me that's who it was. I just couldn't remember her name, even though I I know her quite well. I just, uh, boy, it's amazing how the old gray matter slows down sometimes when you really think you're right on top of it. So far, the numbers have not uh, eluded me, but uh, we'll lock. I'm going to uh, end the show here with something that this is where the real importance lies with all this stuff that's going on in the world, and that is in the debt market. That's where the real problem problem is going to have, we'll be able to see. Wow, look at this. Uh, Marshall has posted the uh, Linda Radsky's 12 technical trading rules. If you get into the Tiger Den, folks, take a look at that because she's an extremely uh, sharp trader. She worked on the Pacific Coast Stock Exchange for many years as a floor trader and then went out on her own. But it's really great, the stuff that she has there. Buy the first pullback after a new high. Sell the first rally after a new low. Boy, I've heard that before, haven't we? i got to love that one. Anyway, we'll, we'll take a look at those uh, rules because it's really cool. Just go to www.tfnn, log in to the Tiger Den. You'll meet some really smart folks in there. And here's some of the things that we have on the radio show uh, five days a week here. So let's pay attention to that. We want to thank Arch Crawford for being our guest today and warning us of this really big astral day that's going to be happening tomorrow. It might be a major bottom. Who knows? Or maybe it's a day early and we're having, you know, something really serious happening. But, you know, we're having a pretty big drop in the market now. We're down several hundred points. Uh, goals up quite a bit, but uh, well, whether these things turn around or not, you know, still a little bit, little bit early uh, in the move. We're down near that 2,900, which is the 61% retracement, folks, on the S&P. That's a really important number but because below that, we're looking at the first number uh, that we were waiting for, which is 2,890. 2,890 is a, that's a big, big, big one. So you got to pay really close attention to that one. That that that's going to be a, a one that they'll. It, etch in stone, I think. 877-927-6648.